just this morning, there was a knock at my door, and when I answered it, I found this, this well-groomed, nicely dressed couple, and, and, and the man did all the talking, and he said, Hi, I, I'm John, and this is Mary, and we're here to invite you to come kiss Hank's ass with us. And I said, Pardon me? What are you talking about? Who, who's Hank, and, and why would I want to kiss his ass? Well, if you kiss Hank's ass, he'll give you a million dollars, and if you don't, he'll kick the shit out of you. What? Is this sort of some, some sort of bizarre mob shakedown? No. Hank's a billionaire philanthropist. Hank built this town. He owns this town. He can do whatever he wants. And what he wants is to give you a million dollars. But he can't until you kiss his ass. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Why? Why? Who, who are you to question Hank's gift? Don't you want a million dollars? Isn't it worth a little kiss on the ass? Well, well maybe if it's legit, but... But then come kiss Hank's ass with us. D do you kiss Hank's ass often? Uh, all the time. And he's given you a million dollars? Well, no. You, you don't actually get the million. You don't get the million dollars until you leave town. So why don't you just leave town now? You can't leave town until Hank tells you to, or if you do, you won't get the money and he'll kick the shit out of you. Uh, but do, do you know anybody who's kicked Hank's ass, left town, and got the million dollars? Well, my mother kissed Hank's ass for years. She left town last year, and I'm certain she got the money. Uh, have you, haven't you talked to her since then? Of course not. Hank doesn't allow it. So, so what makes you think Hank will actually give you the money if you've never talked to anyone who's gotten the money? Well, he'll, he gives you a little bit before you leave. Maybe you'll get a nice raise, or maybe you'll get a small lotto win, and maybe you'll just find a $20 bill laying on the street. Well, what's that got to do with Hank? Hank's got certain connections. I'm sorry, but this sounds like some sort of bizarre con game. But it's a million dollars. Can you really take the chance? And remember, if you don't kiss Hank's ass, he's going to kick the shit out of you. Maybe if I could see Hank or talk to him uh, and, get, and get the details directly from him. Nobody talks to Hank. No, no one's allowed to talk to Hank. Well, then how do I kiss his ass? Well, sometimes we just blow Hank a kiss and think about his ass. And then other times we'll kiss Carl's ass and he passes it on. Who's Carl? A friend of ours. He's the one who taught us all about kissing Hank's ass. All we had to do was take him out to dinner a few times. And you took, you took his word for it when you said that there was a Hank and Hank wanted you to kiss his ass and that Hank would, would reward you? Oh, no, of course not. Carl's got a letter that he got from Hank years ago, explains the whole thing. Here, here's, here's a copy. Let me, sh let me show you. From the top, it says, from the desk of Carl, and item number one is, kiss Hank's ass and he'll give you a million dollars when you leave town. Hmm. Number two is, use alcohol in moderation. Number three, kick the shit out of people who aren't like you. Number four, eat right. Number five, Hank dictated this list himself. Number six, the moon is made of green cheese. Number seven, everything Hank says is right. Number eight, wash your hands before going to the bathroom. Number nine, don't use alcohol. Number ten, eat your wieners on buns, no condiments. And number eleven, Kiss Hank's ass, or he'll kick the shit out of you. Well, this appears to be written on Carl's letterhead. Well, Hank didn't have any paper. Well, I have a hunch if we checked, we'd find this is Carl's handwriting. Of course. Hank dictated it. Well, I thought you said no one gets to see Hank. Not now, but years ago. Many, many years ago, he'd talked to some people. Well, I thought you said he was a philanthropist. What sort of philanthropist kicks the, sn the shit out of people who just because they're different? It's what Hank wants, and Hank is always right. Well, how do you figure that Item number seven says everything Hank says is right. That's good enough for me. Well, maybe your friend Carl just made this whole thing up. No way. Item number five says Hank dictated this list himself. Besides, item number two says use alcohol in moderation. Item number four says eat right. And item eight says wash your hands before going to the, or after going to the bathroom. Everyone knows those things are right, so the rest must be true, too. Well, number nine says don't use alcohol which doesn't quite go with item two which says use alcohol in moderation look and six says the moon is made of green cheese which is just plain wrong i i know I, there's no contradiction between number nine and number two nine just clarifies two okay. two says use alcohol in moderation nine says use alcohol don't use alcohol at all that's just extremely moderate and as far as number six goes you've never been to the moon so you can't say for sure but gee well but, but, but scientists have pretty f firmly established that the moon is made of rock. But they don't know if that rock came from Earth or from outer space, so it could just as easily be green cheese. Well, I'm not an expert, but I think the theory that the moon was somehow captured by the Earth has been dis dis discounted. 
Uh, besides, not knowing where the rock came from doesn't make it green cheese. Ha! <laughs> you just admitted that scientists make mistakes, but we know that Hank is always right. We do? Of course. That's item number seven. Well, you're saying that Hank is always right because a list says so, and right. a list is right because Hank dictated it, and, mm -hmm. and we know that, that Hank dictated it because the list says so. Mm -hmm. That's circular logic. It's no different than saying that Hank is, is right because he says he's right. Now you're getting it. It's so rewarding to see someone come around to Hank's way of thinking. Hallelujah. But, but oh no, never mind. What's the deal with the wieners? Uh, wieners in buns with no condiments. It's Hank's way and anything else is wrong. Well, what if I don't have a bun? No bun, no wiener. A wiener without a bun is wrong. No relish? No mustard? There's no need for such language. Condiments of any kind are wrong. Well, uh, so a big pile of sauerkraut with some wieners chopped up in it would be out of the question? That's disgusting. Only some sort of evil deviant would eat that. It's good. I eat it all the time. Well, if I'd have known you were one of those people, I wouldn't have wasted my time. When Hank kicks the shit out of you, I'll be there counting my money and laughing. I'll kiss Hank's ass for you, you bunless, cut wienered crowd eater. I'm leaving. And with this, John dragged Mary to their waiting car and sped off.